Hey everyone, welcome back to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. I'm the Penny Pinching Prepper. And uh, for those of you who've been around for a while, thank you so much for keep coming back. And uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, I hope you find this useful enough to maybe subscribe or give me a thumbs up. Um, help me with those algorithms, that type of stuff. Uh, without going into too much detail, let's just jump into it. Um, Today's topic is going to be about three old time preps. Um, something, you know, your grandmother, your great grandmother, or even your great, great, great grandmother, or father, or uncle, or something like that might have had uh, around the, the house. Um, we're going to start with the one that's been around the longest and work our way up to the one that's been around the shortest. So, first one is beeswax um now i know most of you are familiar with beeswax it's it's a really good product um it's been around well since forever uh but let's talk about the multi uses for beeswax there's the obvious it makes really good candles and not just really good candles probably the longest burning candle that you can buy on the market really good stuff guys um, then there's the not so obvious. You can use it for waterproofing. Um, you can use it for canning and it's really good for canning. Um, despite what might, some people might argue it or not, it's awesome for canning. Here's the thing. If for any reason your lid seal breaks, the wax seal inside will help keep it protected and more importantly, using beeswax over like paraffin wax. Now granted, paraffin wax is a lot cheaper, I get that. But um, beeswax is antibacterial or, you know, so it's not going to allow bacteria to start to grow underneath the lid and work its way down into the food. So it's kind of like a extra backup precaution. Um, really good for that. Um, good for wound care, um, good for uh, uh, body um, hygiene stuff like lip balm. Uh, you can use it in some soaps depending on the recipe you go and find. Uh, you know, all kinds of different stuff. There's a there's, there's hundred applications out there for beeswax. And um, as a prepper, I just think um, it's one of those things that you should have stockpiled up put away because once you can't get your normal products anymore this stuff will save your butt <clears throat> it really will um, I, I can't say enough about how awesome beeswax is and to double it up with beeswax of course honey um, you know honey great nutrition and that's another thing in dire need, you can actually chew on beeswax and get nutrition out of it. Not a lot, but some. You know, dire needs. But honey, tons of nutrition value. Um, it's also uh, an antiseptic, so you can use it on uh, wounds, stuff like that. Um, good for sweetening. Um uh, lots of different uses uh, if you double it up with honey you've got something that you know is unstoppable almost all right so the next one is prep that i keep on on hand uh this stuff is really great i've been mentioning it lately because a lot of hunt hunters have been talking about scent and stuff like this all right so this is Dr. Bronner's um, pure castrol soap, all right? And this is the unscented version. Um, and what makes this stuff so great is um, it's been around forever itself. It's, it's been around since uh, 1858, it says up there in the corner. Uh, but... Uh, it has a neutral scent, all right? It, it, it says no scent, but it, it has what's called a neutral scent. And uh, people in the 
who are really into hunting will understand what neutral scent means. It means it has a scent, but a scent unlike nothing. Kind of like, let's take for an example, water. If you've ever cracked open a fresh jar, and I'm going to specify jar because it's not plastic, but cracked open a fresh jar of water and you've smelled it, it has a, it has a smell, but it's a smell of basically nothing. Um, and what's so great about that is you can clean all of your scent off of you before you go out hunting, but it doesn't create a scent that can't be easily masked um, because it's neutral. And neutral things are very easily masked, uh, covered up, over scented, whatever. So something as simple as uh, you know some sage branches or some pine branches or uh, just some mud anything that's going to give you a natural surrounding uh, scent you can rub on you and not worry about the soap that you used throwing off an odor um, underneath that natural odors that you've just wiped on yourself because you started out neutral um, really, really great stuff. And for those of you who don't know about Dr. Browner's, um, castor soap, uh, this stuff right here is so incredibly awesome. It's multifashionate. Um, if you notice down there, it, it says all in one. Um, that's because you can use this for cleaning your body, you can use it for cleaning your dishes, you can use it for cleaning uh, your laundry, um, you can use it for cleaning your cooking surfaces, anything. This, this has a ton of uses. Um, and the other thing is, is castrol soap um, lasts a very long time. Um, Unlike, let's say you got a, a bar of dove, you know, you can use up a bar of dove in two weeks, depending on the size of the family, right? Same size family, this would last almost two months. Uh, this stuff really goes far. And um, they do make liquid soap as well. Um, and they do make different types. Um, they make a rose one, uh, which is, you know, good for your uh, the softening of your skin and stuff like that. Um, they make a mint one. Uh, which has antibacterial properties, and it also helps with smoothing your skin. Uh, they have my favorite, which I actually use, um, is the tea tree oil um, uh, liquid soap. I use that as a body wash. Um, I use it to, you know, for my hair, my body, everything. Um, that stuff is really great. The tea tree oil, I love it. Um, so, castor soap. Look it up, check it out. Um, been around for a long time, and when something's been around this long, it's been around this long for a reason, okay? Um, it's just, you don't see it in your normal soap aisle. You usually see it like in the cosmetic uh, section or something like that, somewhere somewhere else. Just ask your your grocery store or something like that. They'll, they'll have it somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> So, last but not least, uh, is this stuff right here. It's called Seafoam. I, I swear by it. Um, this stuff is so great. Uh, this is a uh, multi fascinant cleaner, fuel uh, stabilizer, uh, fuel line treatment. Um, it's good for, you know, small engines, boats, tractors, uh, uh, snowmobiles, um, chainsaws, cars, trucks, motorcycles, all board engines, you name it. So, so many different stuff. It works for gas and diesel. Um, let me get this still for you guys. Um... So, gosh, I'm having the hardest time with my camera today. Um, I don't know what the deal is, but I am. So right there, it says uh, safe for um, gas and, and diesel. And you see that 
it cleans um, injectors, it cleans carburetor jets, it's a stabilizer for oil controls. Um, oh gosh, just read it yourself. There's so much. <laughs> I'm trying to read it on a little screen and I'm having problems. De-icer and so on and so on. This thing actually probably has close to three or four hundred uses. Go on to the the website, I mean, it, it does everything from, uh, you know, lube your, your gaskets and seals from the inside to clean your rockers. And there's, um, this is the, the, the liquid stuff that you, uh, you, uh, pour into like the oil, the transmission, the gas, you, you just pour it in. They also make a uh, a product that uh, is sprays and it's to actually clean your intake system and that stuff also does some really great wonders. I mean, it can take an old knocking rundown tired truck and with this and the foam stuff, do the whole treatments on your rig. And you won't even recognize it and it lasts it's not a temporary fix it's it's actually a long-term temporary fix you know a three four year type fix especially if you continue to use it um <clears throat> sometimes even longer uh you know old diesels and stuff like that they will never quit if you keep using this project or product on them now, uh, full disclaimer, um, I'm a small YouTube channel. I am not getting anything from any of these uh, people. Nothing from c Film, nothing from Doctors Browners, and well, let's be honest, beeswax, you're never going to get anything from. That's, you know, given to you by God. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, nobody's going to pay you to sell their beeswax. <laughs> <laughs> but uh guys that's just a a couple of old time you know preps that are multi-usable oh and real quick fuel stabilizer two to two and a half years um this stuff right here two to two and a half years steer uh, uh fuel stabilizer it's got a, a pretty good stabilizing um lifespan for it but all of these products have been around for a long time um the one that's been around the least is is the sea foam and it's darn near been around for a hundred years it's been around since 1943 um so i hope this helps you out i hope you uh Check these products out and, and stock up on them because they might just really help you out when modern technology and help and mechanics and stuff like that start to be hard to come by. Um, uh, and they're just useful all the way around, period. So... <clears throat> If you got any use out of this video, do me a huge favor. Please get down there and give me a thumbs up. Um, I don't get a lot of those, and I'd like to get the algorithms going, and I think it's because most people can't even stand to get to the end of my lengthy videos because I can chat and blab. Uh, <laughs> but um, remember, uh, God's good, and God bless, and stay clean. <laughs> for your car, yourself, and your food.